Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. You have reached the known in ministries. And our praise song for today is Hallelujah Anyhow. Um, our scripture for the day is Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 5. It talks about wisdom. And let's go there in our Bible. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 5. And this is how we get our wisdom or our understanding. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 5 says, Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from, from them. Okay. And also, while I'm thinking about it, uh, we'll need to welcome uh, Beyonce Knows Carter to St. Louis. And... Um, I love you, Beyonce, and I love your your the whole family, the kids, and uh, Jay Z. So I hope you do a good job while you're here. Um, also, we're supposed to read today. We're supposed to read Esther chapter eight, verse one through chapter ten and verse three. Also, First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse twenty-seven through chapter thirteen, semicolon verse thirteen. Um. Psalm 37, semicolon verse 1 through 11. Proverbs chapter 21, semicolon verse 23 through 24. And I know you say I haven't been here, but I um I had to, I had to work, and so I have to wait till my off days and try to help you guys out. So. Let's see. so we can finish breaking our scriptures down for today. Um, well, let's do our praise songs first. Uh, the first song that we praise God with was Jesus, He Will Fix It by Lee Williams. Our second song is Hallelujah Anyhow. Um, our third song is Still Have a Praise. By Georgia Mass Choir. The fourth song was Well Done by Diedrich Haddon. Also, we listened to Diedrich's new, um, I think it's his new album called Control. I like it, Diedrich. Thank you. Uh, by Diedrich Haddon. Also, number six, Praise Him by Anthony Brown. And also, the St. Louis Cardinals won their games today. They had a victory. Um, so, Thank you, Cardinals. We've been hoping that you win over and over and over again. So, thank you. Um, let's break our scripture down. We're going to break down Esther. Esther, chapter 8, semicolon verse 1 through chapter 10, semicolon verse 3. But you know we don't get all the way through it, but this is what you were supposed to read today. For today and I left I left it in there all the way up to the 21st so I'll put all the way up to the 31st in there for your reading and it'll be in there on today's day it'll be in on August the 20th so let's pray first um father God thank you for your word I'm gonna hover over this while we're reading thank you for your word thank you for your Holy Spirit Thank you for just being good to us. Thank you for blessing us with plenty of food, plenty of clothes. Uh, help us to help others if we can. And um, see, fill us with your Holy Ghost. Um, thank you for the born again spirit. Thank you for the fast that we're going to take. Uh, we're going to take another fast next Friday. Next Friday, Saturday. And possibly Sunday. We'll, we won't eat until Sunday. Um, and I guess you say, why all the fasting? But fasting helps to helps God to answer some of your prayers. A lot of times it's been hindered. And sometimes it helps it helps your your finances. Fasting is real is good for you. So uh, if you want to, you can participate in the fast. You can, you can participate. As long as you want to, or you can, cut, you know, like say this, say you want to participate Friday only or Saturday only, 
or Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So um, we would like for you to join in if you if you can. Okay, so, and God, thank you for, just thank you for being God. Thank you for, for loving us and for caring for us and for blessing all of us over and over and over again. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, and don't forget, you got to write a letter to God. Um, I'm going to write mine so I quit. I need some paper. Write a letter to God. So here's what we do. We write a look, write a look, a brief letter to God. Hold on. Okay. A brief letter to God, and say, "Hello, Father. Hello, Father God. I hope that you're doing great today." You're doing okay today. Okay today. Okay, then you say something like love, Sharon, 66, age 66, and that's it. Just that simple. So, here's my letter to God. Hold on. My letter to God. Hello, Father God. I hope you are doing okay. Love, Sharon, age 66. So I'm 66. All right. So that's your letter to God. Maps. We're going to start on our maps before we break this scripture down. So we got some maps, some more maps to look at. I know you probably said, why does this lady keep showing us all these maps? Well, this is what the Holy Spirit told me to talk to you about. So, I don't know where you're going or what you're doing or whatever, but the Holy Spirit told me to show you these maps. So, where are these maps going? I got some maps right here in front of the book. So, there's no map. Hold on one second. I'm going to hover over this. I gotta find the map. Okay. And you have to grade me on my teaching also, you know, if I'm being patient or if I'm helping at any any at all, at least a little bit or whatever. Just let me know if I'm helping. Okay, here's the map. It's a map right here. The world of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So here's the map. So you have to know this map right here. Okay, so you're going to draw this map and fill in everything. And then I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a blank a blank sheet and you have to fill it in. So remember, draw this map and try to remember what's on here, like the Tigris River, Chaldea, Babylon, the Euphrates River, Haran, Ur. Well, I'm gonna give you a paper, and it's gonna have it's gonna it's gonna have this information missing, and then you just take this map right here and fill it in, and that's all you have to do. The Red Sea, the Arabian Desert, that's the Arabian Desert, and there's Canaan, Shechem, Bethel, Hebron, and Beersheba, right there. So, that's what you have to do on the maps. And here's a map of the Kingdom of Israel. So, this is and their surrounding nations. There's the Mediterranean Sea, there's Samaria, Shechem, Shechem, Shiloh, Bethel, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Philistia, Gaza, Beersheba, Edom, Moab, 
Ammon, Damascus. So you'll have to fill this one. You're going to practice filling this in, these two maps in, and then you're going to get a blank sheet to put to put the answers on there. So, and I'll show you how it's going to look. So that that'll be your test because you you have to you gotta you have to know how to present maps to people. So this is called map ministry. So I, I love this. I love this. And this is what God showed me to to you know to do with you. And so you have to know this. Some of you might even get a chance to go over there and visit. I know the movie stores and the actors and stuff will get a chance to go over there. And some of you will get a chance to go to these countries to play basketball, football, different types of sports, soccer, and everything. So, I don't know if they have it in, in, the, in these cities, but I know one time I was watching golf and they were they were over in uh they were in another country so let me see there's the jordan river yep they were in europe that's where they were they had went to europe and they was it was a bmw bmw golf championship okay now let's go to esther so that's it for the maps let's go to esther Esther chapter 8. And then don't forget, you got to grade me on my teaching. If I'm being patient, if I'm helping you any, you know, or if you had questions and you called me and I didn't answer the phone or something. But I always try to answer the phone. But so um, also you'll you'll be you'll be prayer warriors. So when people call you, you're going to have to pray with them or agree with them in prayer. So you're going to be helping out with that. So that's what we're. That's what we want. That's what God wants with you. He wants you to either start ministering or teaching. One, and so you're going to get to your destination in the Lord by listening to me and uh, the other ministers, so that you can get to your destination in the Lord. Okay, if you read this, this is the King's Edict in behalf of the Jews, uh, verse eight. I mean, chapter 8. Esther chapter 8. That same day, King Xerxes gave Queen Esther the estate of Haman. Okay? The enemy of the Jews. So, Haman was the enemy of the Jews. King Xerxes gave, gave the estate to Queen Esther. That's what's going on right here. That's what you got to find. You got to find out. You got to read this stuff so you can find out what's going on. So you can know who's doing what and when and everywhere. Then, and Mordecai, Mordecai was her cousin, came into the presence of the king. Came into the presence of King Xerxes. For Esther had told how he was related to her. She told um, King Xerxes that Mordecai was her cousin. Verse 2, the king took off his signet ring, which he had reclaimed. He had reclaimed this ring from Haman. So Haman has been holding on to a lot of stuff. He was holding on to the estate, and he was holding on to the signet ring, okay, uh, which he had reclaimed from Haman and presented it to Mordecai. So he had took the the signet ring from Haman, and he gave it to Mordecai, which was Esther's cousin. And Esther appointed him over Haman's estate. So Esther was the queen, and she took and appointed um, Mordecai over Haman's estate. That's what's going on. So you have to keep reading and reading. But I found topics. One topic is uh, King Xerxes. That's something you could talk about. Queen Esther. You can minister on to your families or friends because that's what you're supposed to do. Practice 
and talk about these things with your families or friends or maybe your coworkers, you know. So here, enemies of the Jews. You can find out who the enemies of the Jews were. Then Mordecai. Um, we already got Queen Esther. And let's see. Uh, you could talk about the signet ring. That is a, a very good topic to talk about, to minister to people about. They will love it if you get if you do it right. Okay, but but there is no right or wrong way to do it. But of course, you'll be able. The signet ring is a very good topic. Okay, there's Haman again, and and estate. You can talk about an estate. It doesn't have to be Haman's estate. It can be an estate that um, you know that you that you thought of. You know that would do time. so. If you re and look up the word estate, estate first. And then you'll go and find scriptures on this state. Okay? So, and then there's Esther again. Uh, look up appointed. <coughs> Excuse me. Look up appointed. So, what you're doing is you're reading through the scriptures, read whatever you had to read for the day. And then you'll underline different topics. So for Esther, this is what I found. I read Esther chapter 8, starting with the first verse through the 10th uh, verse, 10th chapter and the third verse. And so I Googled Esther and I came up with Esther chapter 4 and verse 14 and verse 16 and Esther chapter 8 and verse 9. Okay, so now we're going to read Esther chapter 4 and verse 14 and see what it says. Esther chapter 4. Okay, the chapter is the big number. So there's Esther chapter 4. And we'll go down the page and find verse 16, which is the little bitty number. So don't forget. The chapter is the big number. The verse is the little bitty number. And I had I had a test on that, but I don't know I don't know where it is. I have to find it. I, I did that a long time ago. Also, God had gave gave me that to do. Okay, so sixteen. There is verse sixteen. Okay, it says, "Go gather, go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa." And fast for me. And there is fasting too. Right there. Uh, do not eat or drink for three days. N three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king even though it is, it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. Okay, that was verse 16. So you can also break this scripture down. You can break verse 16 down. And then you'll have, so first of all, you got part one. So then you'll break, you'll break 16 down, and you go in there, you underline Jews. You underline all, because we got the all scriptures. We got Susa, S-U-S-A. You underline fast, because we're going to be fasting. So, let's see. You underline days, night, and, and day. Um, you underline attendance. Hmm. Okay. This will give you more to talk about. So every time when you go read something, if you went through this whole, if you read everything that I told you to read, you would be underlining a whole lot of stuff and you'd have a lot of topics to talk about. So that was good. You'll underline Paris and then you'll have Paris to talk about. 
Okay, now let's go to chapter eight. So I'm showing you how to create your message. And this is how you would start off. But maybe you, maybe as you read and as you do it, you will come up with more ways to do it yourself. If you do come up with another way to do it, or if God shows you another way to do it, call me and let me know how you did it. So we can open up understanding to someone else too. Okay, so we're going back to chapter 8 and we're going to go to verse 9. Verse 9. Okay, here. Verse 9. At once the royal secretaries were summoned on the 20th, 23rd day of the third month, the month of Sivan, S-I-V-A-N. You, you might want to look that up. They wrote out all Mordecai's orders to the Jews and to the satraps, so underlying satraps, governors, and nobles of the 127 provinces, underlying the 127 provinces, and then stretch, stretching from India to Kush. So underlying India and Kush. And then these orders, let's go to the next page. We're still on verse 9. There's a lot to talk about here. We're written in the script of each province and, and language of each of each people and also to the Jews in their own script and language. So stop there. That's all you want is verse 9. You, but you can go on to, to Mordecai if you want to. You don't have to go that way. You can like you can like just say okay this is verse 8 and verse 1 Okay, so you you pick up all those scriptures. I mean, all those topics from verse from verse nine. Then you can go back up and go go into verse three and start picking up some, you know, some whatever is new there. Let me see. Pick up feet, uh, weeping. Because we got a scripture that said, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Pick up your and scriptures, because we have and scriptures. Okay? So, that, just put you a message together, and you'll have, part, you'll have part one, part two, part three, part four, and part five. Or you can just have part one and part two. Or you can just have part one, and that's it. But, one way or another, you're going to be good at doing this. Some of you have gotten good already. I can I know, but you also have to grade me. I told you, so um, I had the I had the paper what I had um, where you fill in you fill in things about the instructor, you know, if or they um, or you learning from them, or do you think you might need to learn from someone else or something like that? So. And that was what we had to read today. I showed you that. Hold on. Let me show you on this one, too. Because some people like it typed better than my handwriting. Is, it's not all that great. I'm left-handed, so you might have to look at it again. I might make the letters backwards or anything. Okay, so there is... Let's put this over here. There's 20. And then there's 21. That's the 21st. That's the 22nd. What you need for the 22nd. And there's the 23rd. 24th. I'm going to type all this in there, so don't worry about it. There's the 25th. 26th. I'm going to take you all the way to the 31st, okay? So let me open this up. <clears throat> 23rd, 24th. 
there's a 25th, there's a 26th, looks like. 27. 20, this is 28, I think. 29. And here is the 30th. The 30th. And there's the 31st of August. There's the 31st right there. And we'll stop there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you from the uh, 18th all the way to the 31st. And I'm going to type it in there, what you have to read. And it'll all be in there on the 20th of August. So you'll click on description on the 20th of, 20th of August and it'll show all these dates as soon as I finish getting them typed in. Or you can look back at this one that we're looking at right now and just pick up and write down the 30th and the 31st. We'll write them down. Okay? So God bless you and thank you for tuning in and listening to me and uh, once again, welcoming we're welcoming Beyonce Nose Quarter to St. Louis. And I hope she does a marvelous job tomorrow night. She'll be here tomorrow night, August the 21st. And I think the show starts at 7 o'clock, so don't be late. Okay, so God bless you. And I hope that you've been attending church so that you can uh, grow grow up spiritually. You got to take care of your spiritual person. Okay, God bless you, and I will see you. Um, let me see. I'm off tomorrow, so we'll do a little bit tomorrow, a little bit of something tomorrow. Finish, we're going to go back and look at the maps again, and we're going to write a let, another letter to God. Okay, let's say our prayers and get out of here. Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you for our maps and that we're going to get to know them. Thank you for our letters that we write to you, and that we're going to write short, brief letters to you. And thank you for our praise songs. Um, what else? Thank you for our scriptures that we were able to break down and bless us to come up with topics. Okay? And that's it. So, in Jesus' name, and help us to take care of our spiritual person. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.